Hi, I'm Jane King, and this is New to the Street in person back here at the NASDAQ market site in New York City. The show is all about public, private, and blockchain companies. How the CEOs, the founders, and the innovators bringing you lots of opportunities to consider. Here we go. Acurex Pharmaceuticals is a NASDAQ-listed pharmaceutical company working on some of the most common bacterial infections, including C. diff. And with me is CEO and President David Lucci. I bring us up to date on the latest clinical trial. So where are you uh, with the C. diff drug? I know that you've uh, met with the FDA and you have something going on there. So bring us up to date. Yes, indeed. And uh, thank you, Jane. It's great to be uh, back with you uh, at the NASDAQ. Um, so. We uh, did meet with the FDA, uh, had our post phase two clinical meeting, ironed out our phase three uh, clinical trial mandate. Uh, we're about to file uh, our manufacturing package with the FDA. Um, as, as you may know, uh, you also have to meet with the FDA uh, on manufacturing uh, to go to phase three. So it's all in order. It's as clean as a whistle and uh, we'll be filing that next week. Okay. Um, and that meeting will occur uh, within 30 days of the filing. Um, and then we'll be uh, totally ready to go with uh, inventory coming out um, in the second half of this year. Uh, so that's, that's tremendous. We also have our new patent, which uh, the USPTO has now uh, validated uh, what we've been saying, which is that while we're curing the direct C. diff infection, we're able to fully restore the healthy uh, gut microbiome uh, in the process, which is uh, absolutely opposite of most antibiotic therapies. Why antibiotics get a bad name? They cause dysbiosis or uh, perturbation uh, of the healthy bacteria in the gut, which is how they got the C. diff in most cases in the first place. Okay. So we're able to cure the C. Uh, here, here comes C our antibiotic. We're curing the C. diff and restoring the microbiome, yeah. which prevents uh, other diseases. So the USPTO looked at the data. They agreed that it was novel and unexpected, and that patent goes out to June 2042. Wow. So it's an amazing amount of time. That's um, interesting. So we're really putting the building blocks in place as we prepare for phase three, the final steps. Um, and you know, th th that brings us to our partnership uh, discussions. What we're attempting to do is to pay for phase three through a series of uh, territorial partnerships around the world. Yeah. We started that process in May. It's going very well. We have many conversations ongoing, everything from M&A discussions to South American and European partnership discussions, Japanese discussions. And uh, what we're trying to do is to pay for as much of the phase three uh, program as possible non-dilutively okay. so that our shareholders don't lose all or nearly all of the upside mm. potential in the process of uh, raising the money to pay for phase three. So in other words, I don't want to leave shareholders in a position where we do a massive amount of dilutive equity financing. Yeah. And then it, at that point, it doesn't matter if phase three, to some extent, doesn't matter if it's successful or it fails. Right. Even if it's successful, you've been blown to smithereens. Right, you have so much more to make up the that's ground, so that's exactly really right. interesting. So it's a harder pathway, but I think it's going to be worthwhile and worth doing. And uh, since we know we have a drug yeah. and the FDA is behind us, the USPTO is behind us, mm. we just have to do the hard work of doing the non-dilutive financing. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask about that because this, there's so much process and time that it takes with the FDA and all the trials and it costs so much money and you still have to you know operate your business and you have to have a pretty long runway to be able to get through all of this so this absolutely is how you plan to do it yeah that's how we plan to do it and we keep the staff small uh, for just four employees the GNA is incredibly tight mm -hmm. um, so almost all the money that we have we use uh, for our drug development activities okay um, and we also have some grant applications that uh, are in process that uh, could make a difference. Yeah. So let's um, just back up for a second and talk about C. diff. Okay, we just kind of jumped right into it. And I've yeah, done so no many problem. interviews with you. Um, explain the problem that you're trying to solve and how big of a market could this potentially be? So C. diff, uh, even during the COVID years, it uh, was measured as about a $1.5 billion market in the U.S. alone. Mm -hmm. um, it's growing to $2.2 billion. Um, new estimates, new data from the CDC that I put out on my LinkedIn just this morning. Um, it's showing a sharp rise in C. diff, even from those numbers. And that's because of all the hospitalizations related to COVID 
um, had concomitant antibiotic treatments, which make antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, more of an acute pandemic than it had been. Um, so the need is, if anything, getting more and more significant. And it's, in my, in my opinion, it's given our data, it's attracting partners to us. Mm -hmm. And there's international potential as well. This is a problem everywhere. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And with our cost of goods um, being so low, um, we have the opportunity to, to price relatively high in big wealthy countries like the U.S. Um, but in other countries, it could be priced wherever is comfortable and the cost of goods is is very flexible it's very okay. cheap and simple to make so next step the fda getting all that plan together for phase three yes and immediately after that when we have the cmc and the in the uh, clinical worked out completely with the fda the immediate next step is going to the european medicines agency okay. to make sure they're fully on board and when we have that in minuted uh meeting minutes we will have that to share with partners as well. Okay, anything else you wanna share about what you've been up to? Well, as a new hobby, um, I was asked to be in the University of Florida in a, uh, UF Innovate mentorship program. Uh -huh. I have these uh, eight, uh, <laughs> socks eight on. Okay. Yeah, socks, yeah. And, and what I'm doing is, as part of our way to give back, um, I'm trying to help young students who have scientific innovation um, to get to the next step to grow their business so so that we can kind of share our experiences in our generation with the next generation so that we can continue to have life-saving medicines in the future. Oh no, I mean that's a great idea because I feel like a lot of college kids have a great idea uh, but they don't know how the business side of it, how to execute it, all the clinical trials, <laughs> raising money, I mean yep. all those other things so exactly. you can help guide them with that. Absolutely, looking forward to it. It's a, it's a, a, a life thing for me. Um, yeah. You know, I left the law firm uh, 20 years ago now, and I feel like uh, we're making a difference, leaving the world a better place than where we found it. Yeah. David, thank you so much for the update. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. Lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis can be difficult to treat and debilitating for an animal's health and well being. Take control of lameness issues and joint pain. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. With just one injection, Spring with OsteoCushion technology targets the root cause of lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis, helping animals do what they do best. Welcome to Game Changers. I'm Anna Berry. Joining me today is Dr. Navjeet Daliwal, CEO of Iagon, a decentralized cloud service platform that leverages blockchain technology to offer secure and efficient data storage and processing. This game-changing approach aims to redefine how data is stored and processed, ensuring privacy and transparency for users and organizations alike. Welcome back to the show, Nav. Give us a quick breakdown. What are the benefits for businesses and individual users in adopting Iagon's decentralized approach over conventional centralized cloud services? Yeah, I mean, there's several advantages to having a uh, decentralized storage, storage like ours. Uh, first of all, the biggest problem in centralized solutions is like AWS and Google. Uh, you store your files in a central place at one server at one time. So there's a lot of data leaks, data hacks, and uh, you know we've seen that in the past. Uh, you know, recently in the U.S., for example, the social security files that were leaked, a lot of data was leaked. So this kind of solution, decentralized solution, distributes the files in a way that it's much more secure and distributed to plenty of nodes. Uh, you know, across uh, across our network. Uh, the other reason is cost effective, right? Since we don't have the overhead cost of infrastructure like Google and AWS, we're able to de decrease costs by a cent. Uh, and that's another uh, factor. So security uh, and uh, cost effectiveness. And the last one is compliance. So we're able to easily comply with a lot of the regulations around the world because you'll locate the data in a specific region of the user's app. So you can, as a user, select what kind of uh, performance on the node you want, what kind of perform availability you want, what kind of location you want, and those files will go, or the shards of the files will specifically go to those uh, 
uh, data servers or servers on the network. So it's much more privacy, secure, uh, security, and compliance. Those are the main factors. And tell us about your new device called a Cyclone. What is it exactly? Yeah, so the Cyclone is, is a great way for uh, individuals that are non-tech savvy to come into the network and provide their idle storage capacity. So in Igon, what we do is we allow people all sorts in terms of data centers or people that have extra idle capacity or compute capacity be able to allocate their resources to uh, the Iagon network and earn IG rewards in return. And what the Cyclone uh, does is allows you to plug and play device, kind of like a node which you set up, which allows you to uh, provide uh, storage capacity with ease to the Iagon network. So onboarding a lot of users that might not be familiar with this kind of technology in a simple and easy manner. And then you also have Mainnet Compute. It's launching this month. Congratulations. Tell us about it. So the mainnet compute is coming out this month and it's the same uh, process as decentralized storage, uh, but it's coming out this month and well, it's basically distributed compute in a similar sense, which provides the privacy, security, and the components along with it and the cost effectiveness as well. Uh, so we're doing that same uh, kind of infrastructure uh, setup as we did with storage with compute as well and later adding uh, in GPU as well, which is uh, gaming computing power. Yeah. All right. Well, exciting things in your world. And thank you for providing these solutions, a decentralized cloud service platform that we all can use. Thanks for joining us on Game Changers. Your data is vulnerable to hackers, with email being the cause of 91% of all cyber attacks. Introducing secure, Swiss-hosted, data mine free private and secure solutions to protect your communications. Secure Mail offers secure and private email communication. Secure Messenger offers private and secure chats. Secure VPN encrypts your internet traffic and protects your digital identity. Regain your privacy today. Visit secure at secure.com. Welcome to Game Changers. I'm Anna Berry. Today, we're excited to feature Greenlight Ventures, led by Raphael Grosswort. This company is shaking up the sports and digital finance world with its innovative mix of fantasy sports, crypto exchange, and AI-driven sports advisory services. So let's hear more about how they're changing the game. Welcome to Game Changers, Raphael. Nice to see you again. Thank you, Anna. It's been great. Uh... A few years pass and we're we keep meeting like this. So, you know, they say we got to stop meeting like this. I'd say we got to keep meeting like this. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to address your audience. It's a great audience. It's a great show. Uh, and uh, initially, uh, of course, we have to start with the major news, which is the acquisition by Greenlight Ventures of our company. Uh, we're very excited about that. It's a great group of people, very experienced in, in the area of finance. And we really, it's a match made in heaven. Uh, it came about just uh, through the process of, uh, of pitching and, and promoting our company to different groups, uh, as they call it, the road shows. And uh, we met them. Um, and as they say, the rest was history, of course. Uh, you know, like any merger, it took months of discussions, of process, and then being a public company, uh, the procedure was uh, somewhat, uh, you know, uh, intense attorneys, but we finished it. Everything's filed with the SEC. We are now a public company. GRNL is our symbol. And I'm proud and happy to say that I'm the CEO of this company. And it's very exciting. It's a, it's a dream come true to be able to uh, lead a company that is also public, that gives us the opportunity to realize the value of what we're doing, because uh, we are very confident in our products, our platforms, our technology. But until you get into a situation where that value can be realized and you can raise uh, the necessary funds to achieve those goals, it's it's hard to 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 reach those points. So uh, that was the 
very important uh, piece that happened in the last couple of months. And now we're really, uh, we have our foot in the accelerator in terms of development. Uh, in the next few months, you're going to see uh, multiple platforms out there that are innovative, revolutionary, disruptive. Uh, it's really a perfect storm. So we want to have our own internal channels to precisely uh, be able to have a homegrown a media channel that is going to tie in our platforms, what's going on in the space, our AI platform. He's going to you know, put down bets live and show people how effective uh, our AI services are. And that is going to hopefully lead to a large base of players, cost of acquisition greatly reduced, and a following. Because you know we're not going to compete just the, throwing money at, uh, at you know, more ads and more ads, just like our competitors do. But we have new technology that will allow us to essentially leapfrog uh, the, uh, the existing operators, we feel. And, you know, there's always room for, for, for better technology. And that's what we feel we bring. So we must have that component that brings us players. Uh, and that's what Greenlight TV is. Wonderful. Well, it's clear your innovative approach is setting new standards in sports and the digital finance industry. So we look forward to seeing how you continue to lead and transform and change the game in this industry. Thank you so much for joining us on Game Changers, Raphael. Thank you, Anna. It's great to see you again. All Have right. a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye. Do not fear, Microbe Man is here. SGTM's Microbe Man is here to restore your soil and health. Healthy soil, healthy food, healthy people. is facing trouble with issues like carbon loss, dead soils, overuse of fertilizer and pesticides. Sustainable Green Team is doing something about that. So with me to explain more, CEO Tony Rayner, great to have you back awesome. here at the NASDAQ. So let's talk about uh, this pressure getting this new partnership with Jimmy Houston Outdoors. Yeah, we're really excited. Uh, Jimmy has been an iconic TV outdoor enthusiast for over 47 years. He really cares about the health uh, of our planet and just uh, he's loved by Americans and uh, is really big into the outdoors. So explain how this partnership will work. How does all so that? So Jimmy being an icon like he is and everybody knowing him, he's been number one show on ESPN over 21 years. So being into fishing and outdoors, a lot of products have been out and a lot of sponsorship. Most of all of the major retailers know him very well. He's come on board with SGTM and he's endorsing our product lines and has really gotten on board to be able to really uh, get the word out about uh, SGTM and what we offer and, yeah. and utilize his networks that he's on. So how will you use him in different oh, many marketing ways. materials? Uh, marketing materials, he's going to be an endorsement right on some of our packaging. He's actually wrapping one of his fishing boats along with his uh, pickup truck mm. uh, that they utilize and we'll be doing a lot of showings on the road and you know he's in hundreds of millions of households every single week and on social media. Yeah. And so him promoting and endorsing our products will really get the word out uh, quickly. Will there be new products associated with this? Absolutely, okay. yeah. And what will those be? Well, there's gonna be a lot of uh, innovative products that really have to do with livestock health and deer and fish. And mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that SGTM really focuses on are products that are, are sustainable, chemical free. And so we look about the, the overall well-being of our planet and that has to include animals. And so us uh, working together with his platform and those doors opening up, we're excited to be able to, to launch innovative new products that yeah. uh, work all together, not just for crops, but for livestock. Sure, and it fits into your um, kind of mission with cleaner soils and air and, and all of that, because you know we spend our time outdoors and we want that to be healthy for us as well. It's important, healthy people, healthy animals, healthy planet all together, really combating against the things that have been harming this planet for all these years and being able to get that out there. It takes partnership and so a strategic partnership with somebody that's this iconic and known in the outdoor industry is a huge breakthrough for SGTM 
and also he's a, an amazing human being. Yeah. And so we're excited. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Tony, I understand uh, we or you are going to be doing a, a new feature on uh, Bloomberg TV with the new to the street. Tell me about that. Yeah, we're excited about that. Bloomberg Originals 30 minute TV show about 39 months. So we're going to be able to really show our sustainable mission mm -hmm. and highlight some of the experts that are in the industry and really be able to educate the market and what's going on. And there'll be a lot of guest appearances as well. So partners like we have, like Jimmy Houston, you'll see him on there. So we're going to go out in the field, show the consumers uh, what is happening out there, introducing new products, and what a better way to do that but through Bloomberg Originals 30-minute show. Yeah, nice. So just going in more into depth about what the company's doing. Absolutely. And what exactly you're it doing. It takes time. Yeah. You know, uh, short clips are important, but to be able to really build out a series mm -hmm. that people can get locked into week after week with continuations, we'll be able to go much deeper and people have a much better understanding of what's really happening. Yeah, and being out in the field will be important. You can really show what you're doing as well. Yeah, the outdoors is a big deal for us. So we want to get out there. So we'll be in the studio with you, but we're going to be in the outdoors as well. So we're entering the second half of 2024. Um, what kind of plans, strategy do you have going for the rest of the year? Strategic partnerships, development of new product lines, and also some uh, different products being launched. Okay. That are getting out there. Any kind of hint on those new products? Well, I can't really say too much, <laughs> but I will tell you this. They're definitely revolutionary. They're disruptive. And they're going to be in big box retailers all over the nation. Okay. Well, that will be our next interview, I think. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Tony. Yep, you got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your data is vulnerable to hackers, with email being the cause of 91% of all cyber attacks. Introducing secure, Swiss-hosted, data mine free private and secure solutions to protect your communications. Secure Mail offers secure and private email communication. Secure Messenger offers private and secure chats. Secure VPN encrypts your internet traffic and protects your digital identity. Regain your privacy today. Visit secure at secure.com. Hi everyone, welcome to your Secure Privacy and Security segment. I'm Anna Berry, along with Alain Guiai, the CEO of Secure. Uh, the weekly hack topic is pretty crucial. It's, a, it's an election year, both globally and especially in the US. Cybersecurity obviously remains a top concern. And recently, a shocking development has brought this issue to the forefront. AT&T announced that hackers had stolen call and text records of nearly all of its cellular customers for about six months. That's exposing communication records of 242 million customers, including 128 million connected devices. So, Elaine, wow, this is a big deal. Uh, talk a little bit about what happened here and what are some more secure alternatives to ensure our data remains safe from such breaches like that? Uh, yes, this this is a catastrophic breach, not because it just breached, you know, close to a quarter uh, billion uh, people. But the problem is that AT&T was essentially uh, storing database in third party companies. In this case, they mentioned, I believe, Snowflake. Uh, it's a it's one of these uh, database type companies, I guess. But essentially what's happening is with the big tech and with the same five, seven companies running our entire world, we just saw CrowdStrike when something went up, half of the world was shut down, airlines weren't working. We were fine because we're not using big tech. We don't have a big tech infrastructure and we host ourselves with our own machine. So our email, our scheduling, our messengers were fine. The at and issue is that now the phone number of all these people, these hundreds of millions of people, are now in the hand of hackers. Now, what does it mean? Because you're like, okay, at and got hacked, they all get hacked, I'm still okay. What happens is now that they have your phone number, forget about the call log, uh, that's a whole other thing, because it tells me they're literally logging everything, what you say, who you call, obviously. Uh, that's normal in a telecom operator. So your life is essentially completely transparent and they monitor and keep that data. That's kind of scary too. That's a whole other topic. I think what's important to know is that the phone numbers are out there. So when you use an application for uh, texting, messaging, et cetera, all the ones that we know, 
uh, that are also being hacked on a weekly basis as we see and read about it, you need their phone number to use those. Uh, and that's another danger. So now they can hack, they have your phone number to go to this, these big tech free applications, and now they can bombard you impersonating others and also your contacts. So this is a viral infection, I call it, of uh, intrusion by hackers, and it's getting to be exponential. So now I use SecureSend for everything, especially if I have to get an invoice paid or anything like that. The messenger part, you can text someone in the US or 80 other countries, uh, and then they click on it, they open a browser, you can chat with them. If you're in the US, you would have to first send uh, an opt-in link. So you know, I would have to have you write your phone number on a link and say, yes, I accept receiving text from Secure, just one time only. And then after that, we can communicate. You don't need to have Secure. Businesses love that because they can communicate with their customers, uh, whether you're a financial company, a lawyer, medical. And we also offer archiving for businesses. That way, financial uh, uh, companies don't get fined by the SEC, those billions of dollars, because they're using applications that don't offer that. And our, our costs are very minimal, so we're getting a lot of interest in that. The idea is to keep things private and to make you invisible. And that's that's why hackers have a hard time or cannot find you. That's the whole idea, is to reduce your footprint so you don't leave breadcrumbs for everybody to come and hack you. Right. Well, invisibility has become an asset in today's world. Uh, thank you so much for this. Privacy has arrived with Secure and uh, another great weekly hack. Thank you for the topic thank, today. Thank you. And then talking about privacy, if you want to have a, a discount, you can put the promo code privacy and you get 15% off any secure solutions. Go to secure.com, promo code privacy, you're 15% off for five years. Thanks, Anna. You're welcome. Thank you all for watching.